Hello and welcome back to Nate's podcast. Be sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Today, Nate would like to talk about the alien planet that might have life. Yeah, well, it's just this, um, the other day I was reading this article on futurism. I'm going to refer to the article today for the benefit of this talk. So the article is on the futurism website, futurism.com. And it says that the James Webb telescope is turning to examine a planet showing potential signs of life. And what they've explained in the article is that the planet, um, the, the James Webb telescope has detected a gas emitting from the planet, which is only... Uh, produced by life on earth now they've said that it's not necessarily the case that that means that there is life on this planet there could be other ways this gas could emerge um, but on earth we only see this gas as the result of life and it says in the article um, that the gas on earth is produced by plankton plankton in the ocean produce this gas and the article also says that um, based on the existence of this gas on the planet and a few other variables, they've determined uh, that there's probably a, 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 it's probably an ocean world with large oceans, very deep oceans. So they're saying it seems, based on this gas being existent on the planet from what the telescope can see, that there's a high that there's a probability that it might be being produced by life on the planet. Now the planet is like 130 light years away so we're not going to be able to go there to have a look at the planet um, but the James Webb is going to be looking closely at the planet I think it said over the next six to eight months or a year the telescope is going to be examining this planet and the scientists are going to be um, going over those results from the telescope's observations to try and determine whether there is any life on this planet and this is what I said in one of my previous videos this is probably how we're going to determine that there is life on other planets um, is the telescopes will pick it up so we're not going to see aliens turn up or we're not going to see alien ships flying around in space we're probably going to detect in the atmospheres of planets um, chemicals and and gases and stuff that we know are only produced by life uh, and as I said in one of my videos we may see on a planet we may detect pollution in an atmosphere uh, and we may be and, and we can say that pollution could only be produced by industry and that's one of the ways that we can determine that there's a technologically advanced civilization on a planet now with this gas um, on this planet that's not saying that there's a technologically advanced civilization on this planet it could just be ocean life it could be fish it could be plankton it could be things that live under the ocean nothing that has cars or industry or skyscrapers or any of the technology that we see and not an intelligent life form necessarily like us that builds things and communicates verbally and has language and stuff it could just be fish um, so so we're not talking about necessarily finding an alien civilization that is advanced that we could communicate with we might just be seeing that this planet has an ocean on it that has ocean life in it and that's probably how we're going to find life um, and we're probably going to start and I speculate and I make the prediction that over the next 50 years with our current telescope the James Webb that can do this and with whatever telescope comes next that will be better that we're probably going to start detecting planets where we see these gases and these um, things in the atmosphere and on the planet which we can say prove that there is life on the planet and we're probably going to start detecting a lot of planets um, that, that we can say definitively have life on them because we can say we know those things are the byproduct of life and can only be caused by life and that's how we're going to start determining that there is life on planets but again that doesn't necessarily mean that it's an intelligent species that has computers and cars and technology and communicates verbally and has culture and language um, and traditions or anyone we would reach out to and expect to have a relationship with across the stars um, and, well, and as I said if we want to look for those civilizations uh, that are advanced like us and have technology we'll be looking for the signs of pollutants in the atmosphere and when we see um, pollutants in the atmosphere we can say oh there must be industry on that planet they must be burning fossil fuels and this is what a lot of people don't understand or oh, these things are universal like we can say that a species will probably go through a fossil fuel stage um, and will probably develop industry and as I said in previous years that will probably be that's universal we know that those are phases 
that species go through where they reach that point in their technological development where they have industry and where they have cars. Um, so we can. So it's amazing how much scientists can determine with a telescope by looking at a planet's atmosphere. They can actually. We can actually figure out that there is life on a planet just by looking at it across the stars. It's important to note that we're looking into the past. Um, so anything we find can potentially have already gone extinct uh, by the time we could potentially go there and meet it because we're always looking into the past when we're looking out into space. We're seeing the past. We're not seeing the current. We're not seeing the present. Um, so, yeah, it's amazing how much we can determine. And I predict, as I've said, um, that over the next 50 years, we're probably going to start being able to definitively say, oh, there's life on that planet. There's life on that planet. But it takes a long time and they have to make a lot of observations and they have to watch for a long time. And there's a lot of planets to look at, you know, there's a lot to look at. So it's scouring the skies with one telescope to determine how many planets there are out there with life on them it takes ages. So it's going to take a bit of time for us to start confirming life on other planets. But my prediction is that the James Webb telescope will find life on another planet and we'll see the signs of life on another planet and we'll determine definitively without question in the next 20 to 50 years that there is a planet out there with life on it and then many more. And I anticipate we will see many more planets where the telescope can determine that there is definitively life on the planet. So if you want to read the article about this planet and they found that they, det they detected these gases on the planet in... Um, September last year, I think it said, and I'll just find the name of the planet quickly. I don't want to give too much time. The planet is K2-18b. The planet is called K2-18b, um, and it is 124 light years away, so we couldn't go there. We wouldn't be able to get there to examine it, uh, and we're not saying that there's a civilization there that has language or culture or technology. It's more likely like ocean life and plankton, and stuff like that, and basic life that's on the planet. But I, I, I wonder whether, and they said in the next six months they're going to be looking over these results from the telescope, looking at the planet. So I wonder if we're going to hear in six months' time that they've determined that there's definitively an ocean rich with life on this planet, and that will be groundbreaking. And I expect we're going to see much more of this in my lifetime and in your lifetime. Um, so look forward to hearing confirmation of life on other planets in this next century that's what i expect will happen with the james webb telescope scouring space to determine whether planets have life on them so drop a comment in the comment section about whether you get excited about things like this i certainly do and whether you think we're going to find planets with life on them in the next 20 to 50 years thanks to the telescope